Hello Team Aquarius, it's Empire333 here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So Aquarius, this is your love tarot reading. Um, we'll be getting into each person's energy. You know the drill. I'm going to pull some cards for you. We'll get into intuitive messages and whatever else Spirit needs to tell you at this time. Okay. This will not have an extended. If you resonate with this message and you want to book a personal, that information is down below my email. Okay, make sure you follow directions. <clears throat> so Aquarius, I'm seeing that you are you feel kind of stuck. So I feel that some of you are having an issue with making a decision. So like, let's say there's a step you want to take or there's a decision you, you need to make. It feels like you don't, um, how should I say it? You don't know what to do about a situation, okay? This could be love situation. This could be anything, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you with the Oracle cards. Spirit, what do you want to tell Aquarius at this time? Okay. Envy, hostilities, and caring connections. So, okay. So whoever you're connecting with Aquarius, there's someone that's heavily thinking about you. There is conflict between, <clears throat> well, what's going on with my voice? There's conflict between you two, okay? This person is overthinking the situation. Um, they don't know how to come to you, but this looks like this is definitely a soulmate connection. Um, but there's things that are not balanced out between you two. That's what I'm hearing, okay? <clears throat> so there's things not balanced out between you two, and I feel like what's happening here is that there could be other people coming between you and someone else, okay? So now, when I say people, it doesn't have to be present people, okay? It could be people from the past that are creeping up. It could be the energy, okay, of the people of the past. Because this is an energy reading. I'm reading energy right now, okay? And that's what it's what it's showing me. So let's get into your energy at this time, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you. Wow, how did this get in here? Okay. I'm, I'm seeing somebody with really hairy arms here. So I don't know if you're dealing with someone with hairy arms or you are, you have hairy arms. <laughs> Aquarius, I just thought I'd put that out there, you know? <laughs> All right. I'm not shading. There's nothing wrong with hairy arms, okay? Okay, so let's see. Wow. Yeah, so definitely things are not clear between you and someone else, okay? I feel like some of you, um, yeah, they're not balanced. Let us see these cards. Okay. That was not a card, guys. I don't know what's happening. Okay. So this is what I'm getting, Aquarius. So some of you... Um, it feels very heavy, this connection. It feels like a hard love, okay? So some of you might love this person or you want it to go even further than what it is normally. But the issue here is that you and this person have problems with communication, okay? The communication is not clear. Um, there's someone here that... Um, feels like you feel like there's no balance in this connection. There's no equal equality. Okay. So there's no equal give and take. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you are willing to compromise, but you realize that this person is like fleeting. They're not like someone you might like, uh, um, you have your doubts about this person, Aquarius, and it has a lot to do with their inconsistency. This person is inconsistent, okay? They um, they feel like they come in and they go. Like, they're not consistent with their energy. So even though some of you have hope, like, okay, well, this person might come around. You might have been waiting for them too long to come around, 
And when they do come around, it's like they leave as fast as they come. It's that type of energy that I'm picking up on. And this is becoming really heavy on you. This, this energy that you're holding in this connection, you're, you're holding the weight of the connection, okay? Um, and this has a lot to do with some, you might not be, um, this is what I'm hearing, Aquarius. So some of you just expect the person just to like know everything and they don't, okay? So whoever you're dealing with has issues with communication. So... I just heard trifecta. I don't know why that is might be important to you. Trifecta. Um, I see some of somebody here who has a business that has an emblem. Okay, that could be the trifecta that I'm seeing. Like something with a three. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, your person um, right here. They're stuck in stagnant energy. They're not making the right moves towards you guys. They're, they might be stuck in a situation, Aquarius. Um, it's taking them a lot of time to come around and actually have some type of conversation with you, okay? This person could have been keeping information from you, Um A lot of holding back from your person okay so let's see what they're gonna do now okay if this person ghosted you I feel like they're they're gonna come back okay so if someone stopped talking to you Aquarius they're gonna come back you see there there's a situation keeping you and this person together from being together Okay, so I feel like this person at this time needs to release all this. Okay, this could be karmic. This could be a karmic ex. This could also be family is what I'm hearing. Siblings. Wow, siblings. Their siblings could be um, really affecting, interfering in their life somehow. Okay, so maybe they feel like responsible for their siblings or they need to take care of them it's that type of energy okay so what i'm seeing here is that the way this person sees the connection is like i can't give i can't give to this connection right now okay they don't feel like they have they can make the right moves that you want to make aquarius you want them to make in this connection okay i feel that um, this person does hold back a lot from you. They're not telling you everything, okay? I don't feel like there's any, like, bad things necessarily, but it's more like this person needs to process all this themselves, okay? So this is what I want to say, Aquarius. You came into this person's life, and you are like the, what is it called? Like the um, catalyst, okay, to their karmic cycle closing out so that's a lot of heavy energy okay so you basically are the catalyst to their uh turning their life around so i don't know what kind of a lifestyle this person is i don't know who's who these people are let me know in the comments because um it's there are people that like this person helps but they still take advantage of them you know so your person is giving to another situation and therefore, they feel like they can give to you too at the same time. Okay, I think someone else got that. I think we got something like a game changer or something. like. Was that Capricorn? Yes, Capricorn. I don't know if you have Capricorn placements or you're dealing with one. Okay. So this person has a lot of baggage to remove. Okay, they got a lot of things going on in their life. A lot of energies that this person does, is taking on. So it's very hard, heavy energy, okay? Now, I'm not making excuses for this. I'm not. I'm just a messenger, okay? So I don't know what it is. But this person definitely... I just heard all Aquariuses are not bad. So I don't know if there's cross watchers here. But look at this. 
definitely. So like I said, Aquarius, you are the catalyst to this person closing out a cycle. Now this is a cycle to me, okay? This is a cycle, all right? So that's what I'm hearing at this time for this connection. This person needs to change their ways. They need to change how they operate. It's going to be like a completely different lifestyle. You come into this person's life, but it's like so heavy, the energy. So some of you kind of give up, okay? You're like, okay, I'm not going to reach out anymore. I'm not going to put my energy into this. This is not balanced. This person literally can't give to you right now because of the energies that they're in. But um, let's see what they're going to do because... I feel like this person doesn't have enough. They feel like they don't have enough to be in a balanced relationship with you. Okay, Spirit, what is this person's next move towards Aquarius? Wow. This person has a lot of deep feelings for you. There's a lot of passion here. Um, there's a lot of deep feelings you don't know about. This person is not one with words. I, this is what I'm hearing. Um, they don't express the way they're like. They don't express their feelings to you that they have. But I do see this person um, like. They have not made a decision when it comes to this. So Aquarius, I don't know if you gave this person an ultimatum. Hold on, guys. Wow. Wow. Okay. So this is like, this is very, um, what is it called? We call this like a. complicated situation, complicated connection, okay? This person is very stressed out. I feel like they want to come to you, Aquarius, but they know they can't. I don't know what you told them. Did you give them an ultimatum? Did you tell them, like, okay, it's either we work on this together, we have a bounce connection, um, or get out of my life? I don't know what you told them, but I feel like this person is really stressed out about reaching out to you. It's like they keep thinking it over and over again. Um, I see them writing texts to you and then deleting it. Okay? They keep writing texts to you or messages. I don't know how you all communicate. Um, some of you, they communicate through other social media platforms. It doesn't have to be by phone. It could be like, um, I don't know. I'm seeing like an online chat, some kind of online chat. Um, and they're writing you a message. They keep like writing it, deleting it, writing it, deleting it. It's like it's driving them crazy because you laid down the law and this person, it's like they know you want a future with someone, whether it be them or someone else. So I feel like what's happening here is that you are serious, Aquarius, okay? So some of you might have been like, you know, you laid down the law. You're like, I want something serious. I want something long term. I'm not messing around. They know this. OK, and I feel like it's hard for them to. I don't know. This person's like. Whoever you're dealing with, it's even their the way they talk. Like, I don't know how to say this. Um, maybe they don't have like a big vocabulary. Um, Because I'm getting an energy of like, Aquarius, you're like an eloquent speaker, okay, for some of you. This is not going to resonate with all of you, but you know how to word your words. You know what I mean? Like your, uh, your syntax, okay, is different, okay? The way you speak, your verbiage is different, right? And this person here, yeah, you're kind of like, some of you are kind of like the grammar police, right? So it's like, this person doesn't know how to express their feelings towards you. This is the King of Cups energy. So I'm getting this person has really deep feelings for you. 
but saying it is a whole different thing, okay? So I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you, okay? It's kind of like they they might just be like after they delete their texts and whatever, I feel like there's going to come a time when they just reach out to you just like spont spontaneously, okay? And like out of the blue. And it's going to surprise them too. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius. Sorry about that. I'm going to see now what is, what's the spiritual advice for Aquarius, okay? So spirit, what is spiritual advice for Aquarius? Because this person is going to come through somehow, Aquarius. Um, just to let you know, they have a lot to say to you. I don't know if they're going to have the guts to speak up. Wow. Oh my God. You got aces, Aquarius. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, you have a decision to make Aquarius. I feel like this is about, um, releasing this energy of this person i do see for some of you someone new is coming okay so you're gonna have a decision to make this has to do with um this is what i want to say some of you have the preconceived notion of a soulmate that is only one person okay so you can have many soulmates i just want to let you know that so you're not stuck on someone what spirit is asking you to do is forgive this person and release them if that's what you want to do, okay? Um, I just heard they need your forgiveness, okay? So I don't know if this person really hurt you. I do see disappointments, um, but I feel like your soul path could be with someone else. Now, this is not for all of you. This is a general reading, but I'm, I am seeing that um, your decision that you make when this person comes along has a lot to do with your future. I feel like you're shaping your future. And also, um, some of you are more listening to your soul right now. Your soul path might be guiding you somewhere. So if you are receiving signs, um, if you're seeing feathers is what I'm getting. If you are, um, if you, I'm seeing lilies. So if you are into lilies or one of your ancestors love, loves lilies, okay, that is a very um, significant sign for you that, you're supposed to forget that this person, you do have karma from another lifetime with this person. So it has to be forgiven. Okay. Um, I know it's hard. I'm not saying forgiveness is easy y'all, but it's, yeah, it's in your, so yeah. So you need healing. You need some heart healing. Okay. And some of you, your past is affecting your future now. So some of you already are carrying a lot of past hurt from another connection and it's like coming into this one also okay um you want your desires met is what i'm hearing then you have to um release this energy this is the devil energy guys okay this is the devil energy so this is about um karmic ties and also um it's about feeling like you're controlled by this person or this person has control over you, there is some type of control issues that you need to release, okay? Because truly, no one can control you. You're in control. Aquar okay, Aquarius, you need to be reminded of that. So there is a fire energy here that I see a king of wands energy. Um, like doesn't have to be necessarily Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but there is some real fire energy coming your way. I do feel like for a lot of you, this is a new person, okay? Um, let me see. Anything else, Spirit? Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is going to guide you to your Ten of Cups, your emotional fulfillment. But there is heart healing here, okay? And there is going to be illumination. So get ready, Aquarius, because this person is coming back, and you need to make a decision, okay? I hope this helped you. If it has, don't forget to like this video. Let me know how you resonate in the comments. Peace out, Aquarius.